Before this video begins, I would like to shout out my patrons and all of you Fluffbots watching for making these videos possible. It's all thanks to you. I truly appreciate it. Okay, hey Fluffbots, this is a post-reaction notice for the video that you're about to see. Look at the state of my setup. And also, Fluffbots, yeah, it finally happened. Just prepare yourselves, Fluffbots, because you're in for quite a ride. The stuff I've seen, the characters I've witnessed, the story, and oh my god. Just, just strap in, Fluffbots, because you're not ready for what's about to come, because... FUCK! <laughs> But it's me, from one point, Cortez Cult, and this is the reaction I bet you've all been waiting for. It's the reaction to the final episode of Make Your Mark Chapter 4. Oh my god, I am literally shaking right now in my seat. I am equal parts scared and excited for this episode. I have been avoiding spoilers left, right and centre for so long, and now it's all come down to this. We are going to be getting into the season finale, which is called... Missing the mark. And let me tell you, Fluffbutt, I am literally horrified by that title. Because it's been like a pun that the people who don't really like Gen 5 that much have been using a lot. For example, in a video title, they would name it Make Your Mark is Missing the Mark. And now that it has been turned into an episode, uh, I feel what on earth is going to happen here. I am just left in complete shock that we're finally here. And you know what? You've all been inevitably waiting for this one. So let's begin. Mousy, for this final reaction, you're going to be getting smacked with the glow stick and with my favorite color green. We have to get this over with. I don't. I don't want to do it. Ugh, fuck it. Let's go. Misty, what are you doing? Huh? What? How? 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 How did that happen? No. Oh, for God's sake. We're already starting tense. Don't do it, Misty. I don't- I understand, but you don't need to do it like this. Oh, come on, Spiky. You show her so much affection that she'll give you back. Oh, she's gonna do it. Opaline, if you dare harm him, I swear you're gonna get thrown onto that wall. Sunny, use your alicorn powers to save him. Come on, I am begging you. Sing along. Every pony everywhere, you can feel it in the air. Find your spark and just glow and kill the fuck out of Opaline. So, the last episode. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, no. Oh, that's a very nice view there. Oh, we're starting with like the start of Have You Seen This Dragon again. And he was stopping through Maritime Bay like a birdzilla. <laughs> that should be a movie for the theater. Come on. He's not playing hide and seek, Hitch. You're not birdzilla. Thank <laughs> God for that, I suppose. Sorry. Hmm. He lives in that cabinet. It, it will be so dark for him. Oh, wow, just destroy your setup. Uh, I don't want to. He's wandered off again, like he does. <laughs> Aren't you concerned? Yeah, I usually don't say good anyway. We'll find him. No need to panic. Yeah, we know the drill. <laughs> oh, come on, Zip. You need to be the mother. Just be concerned all you can. No need for a new Operation Glitter Bomb, then? <laughs> Undoubtedly, I would love to see that return here. Ooh, the basement came back. Oh, my favorite song. But he's not close than you can think. How dare you interrupt the sweet tune? Uh, it's not working. Hitch, don't you dare stop crying. No! Oh, no! I, oh, fuck. 
Sparky, this is not a paradise. Then just give him back, Misty! Oh, the decision is right there. She doesn't know what to do. Fuck off! I don't want to see you right now! How on earth did she do that, though? If you dare, if you... No, no, no! I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> There's no time for bragging now, Opaline. You're even better than I imagined. I, I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm frozen in my seat. Uh, Sparky, use your, use your psychics. He likes her now. Oh, this is new though. Look at her office. The Dragonstone. Really like him, don't you? Like he, him? He loved. She loves him. I adore. That's cat. That's just creepy, Opaline. Oh! Oh God. That's where you're going to She's be hanging him out the window. You. It worked on that mouse. I'll only keep him there until he's done being drained. And then, what? Well, no! Say he'll be useless. She's gonna suck out the magic. <gasps> you motherfucker! <sighs> All right, you asked for it. Oh, you f motherfucker! You don't need to go on drugs right now, miss. Oh my god. My headphones! I think I've lost that side of them! What? I can't hear properly! No joke, Fluffbutts. This outlet is gone. Like, where? Like, is it. Oh no, it's still working. Okay. I guess I just went deaf in this ear for a, for a moment. But, oh my gosh. Look, oh my god, I've literally be beheaded her! Holy god, okay, go away. You asked for it, Opaline, you do not harm my Sparky Wonky. Sparky. Sparky. Guys, what are you still doing in the bright house? Get out there! No, oh, this is not good. Yeah, there's no time for that, is he? An apple. I think he would want more than just puny fruit. I don't like this visual. And I will, and I will take a knife and stab it through your darn heart, Opaline. Yeah, cut her off. Don't let her talk. Just, just, just secure him or something. That's because you're not listening. She's going to like organize a whole like ritual? What on earth is she going to do? Yeah, at least Misty's showing some backbone right now. I've made a horrible mistake. God, you see the kid's condition right now? He's literally desaturating! Yes, the bracelet. Remember, yeah. But you can't just leave him there. What? Oh, this, I, I don't like this at all. Uh just a what just a wall ball. <laughs> this is not the right time for comedy, Izzy. Just get that party blower out of your job. Uh, but the lullaby would have worked in that radius. Maybe Sparky's at the magic tree again. That's right. Oh, the 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 Canta, the Canta Love Studios one. Remember to stay calm this time. Hey, Misty, just come right in through the front door. Yes, come on. Yeah, for real this town. Come on, Misty, draw them to her! Oh, but they're gonna know that Misty was in on it all along. Yeah, use the mainstream! How are you so positive? Oh, yeah, her identity is going to get revealed soon. Some pony must have told her where Sparky is in the first place. Zip, there's no need to be so smugly clever right now. This is not appropriate! Yeah, mastery to the rescue! Pop out your wings! There we are. Oh, thunderstorms! It's down there. Oh, but where though? Like, what kind of region though? Yikes! Spooky visual there. Sparky's in there. And the evil mastermind is. <gasps> Whoa! Already? I, I I think we're not even halfway yet. Now it's not- you can't- you can't be admiring Opaline right now, Pip! There's no time to explain. Well, uh, I think you have to now. Oh! Holy shit! 
Dude, they're not collectibles! I want to murder you! I want to slaughter you! Oh, the power, yeah. Oh. But she doesn't have the staff of equality. Revolution, she doesn't know. Unleash on all of your anger. She was trying to do it all in goodwill. Fuck. I just don't like that. Why? My poor, my poor boy. I am so proud of you, Misty. You are. Just yes. Misty, lash out on her so or something. So excited. We'll, we'll, I am. Is Opelin going to We're give Misty I the main five cutie marks? You will get your cutie mark. Liar. You're just delaying the process. You're never, never let Opelin make promises. Now she can't pierce it with her horn. She better not like, like take all the color out of the main five though. I knew it. I should have just followed my instincts. You were right all along. He's upstairs, Hitch. Unleash your inner daddy rage. Come on. Come on. You can do it. No, but she's not really one though. This is not working out well. Maybe I'm not true alicorn material. You are though, Sunny! You may not be one, but inside you you do have a heart of a heart of a of a, of a, of a I can't speak. They can't use magic or fly at all. Like the magical bubble that Misty mentioned. Like you helped us get into the situation? This Irony. You haven't been honest with us ever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Storm Blazer just instantly agreeing with each other. I'm so sorry. Uh, you didn't deserve this. This, this is honestly quite sad. Just moments away. Look at Smarky, he's like literally near death. Stop, please! The stinky little dragon <laughs> you call him stinky once again and I'll fucking I'll, I'll go through the screen! This harmless baby dragon has given me one headache too many. Just uh, I'm oh my god, I can see stars. Dragon baby. No! Oh the bubble burp. Yes! Oh, this music. It's getting cinematic! You're too busy trying to figure out how to get out of this mess. Misty, use your magic! Come on! Oh, the bracelet, come on! Yeah. Show them the positivity and they'll give you positivity back. Show where your true loyalties lie. Blind flags forever! She broke her throne! Yeah, come on, break the bubble! Woo! Okay, now we're talking. What? Oh! Oh! It's happening! It's happening! Yes! Oh, she finally got a cutie mark! Oh, that's beautiful! <laughs> that something was me. Yeah. It, it, it always shined within you. You finally made your mark. Kill her, Sonny. Kill her! Oh my fucking god. Oh, look at that glowing on her chest. Stab a hitch! Come on, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, that's the mama and dad I love. I freed them, mummy, because fuck you! Yes! This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Your elements do mean nothing to me! Oh, she finally said her full name. I don't think so. Oh, she's she's gonna burn down her whole palace. Yeah, she had she doesn't have aimbot on. Oh! Oh, that must have hurt. Oh shit. Uh, was that Izzy? Yeah! Smack her with some rocks! Alone. Leave my girlfriend alone! Leave her alone. Oh, the potions! Oh my god, they tried to win bubbles again. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! 
If when friendship is magic, we can make our mark. Oh, damn, this duel is epic. Way to glow. Now, you can't make puns now. No! Oh! Fucking hell! All the cutie marks. Unify! Make one big blast of magic! Oh, join them, Misty. Join them! Use your new card, cutie marks! Oh, rainbow magic again. Whoa! Yeah, turn the tables on her! Oh my god, I think I've broken a nail. Ow! I, I can literally feel it. Oh, but Sparky, I'm, I'm glad you're safe. What? Why are you? Uh, well, at least Misty is still pretending. Wow, they destroyed your home. Whoopie doo. Talk time to clean up. Yeah, she still has the magic. At least she's like a happy butler now. Although you may have unearned your new cutie mark. Unearned. Oh, she knows. At least they know you work for me now. No, they don't. You've been fooled once again, Opaline. And she doesn't seem to mind that she is keeping that bracelet on her. Wow. God, she's so full-hearty, Opaline. Hey, she's been restored to full health. He's got his colour back. She definitely was. Oh my god, I think I'm on the verge of tears right now. Hey. Do you know what? That cloak kind of suits Misty. Be yourself, Misty. Yes. That's the lesson you truly needed. I totally understand if you all hate me now. She, you got your cutie mark thanks to them, Misty. But it's what we do in the end that counts. I promise. Yeah, you just forgive Misty. Oh, one day she's really going to backstab her. Huff to heart. Huff to heart. Yes, I wanted to. I wanted to participate in that. If one dragon is awake, then the rest must be stirring. Huh? There's more. There's more? I knew it. What? Uh. Or. Oh, what the fuck? They got it! Oh, oh my god, there's more dragons, and now Opaline's coming for them! But, fuck yes! Oh! This episode gave me a lot of satisfaction. Oh my goodness me. Get a seatbelt ready, Fluffbots, because now is the time for the final discussion of Chapter 4. Missing the mark. Holy shit, Flopbots. What a finale this episode was. And yep, it definitely outbeats Have You Seen This Dragon by a long shot. So much story, so much characterization. Misty finally getting a cutie mark. Opaline's fire powers are finally being restored. Sunny and Opaline finally dueling it out. Oh, I think this episode had a mixture of everything that made it click so correctly. The comedy, the horrific elements, and even the heartwarming and sad stuff that was applied. Holy God, I can't keep my mind off this episode's, like, climax, and just its heartwarming aura overall in the face of danger. I love that for the majority of this episode, it took place inside Opaline's Dark Castle, because it's been a long while since we've actually had, like, an episode that's centered mainly in that location. And maybe it could have been considered, like, a bottle episode, because, you know, it was all taking place inside that small tree, and... Oh, jeez, the excitement that went on in it, it's really memorable. Sparky having his dragon fire physically drained out of him, that really affected me. Like, I love my boy so much, and to see a baby going through that kind of torture, Okay, my little pony, calm the fuck down. The way Sparky had his colors drained from him, that was a horrific sight because I thought Opaline was going to let him drop into the river to drown. Like, oh my God, Opaline is much darker than I thought, but I think it's finally time that she is showing some really good characterization and not just being a cliche, wicked, maniacal laughter villain all the time. She really means business now. Although she is still being full with Misty's masquerade of still being keen to her because she saw that she got a cutie mark and she's not really suspicious of that. Opaline May does care about Misty somewhat because, you know, if she's willing to go that far to trust Misty, then 
she must have something deeper planned for her, and I can't wait to figure it out in chapter 5 and 6. Oh boy. The visuals of this episode were on point because it really displayed, like, the heartlessness and the desperation shown from dark greys to blues and blacks and just cold purples. Oh, I, it really did set me on edge a bit. The main five also got the spotlight of a lifetime as, as they were kind of hilarious at the start with them assuming that it was just a reminiscence of Have You Seen This Dragon with Sparky playing some hide and seek as he usually would. But no, it was much darker than that and they really woke up and when Misty came through the front door, they immediately kicked into action and boy, each of them having their own ways with dealing with Opoly, that was her, that was convenient all the while while the action was going down. I really adored Misty showing some more backbone to, to Opaline and also satting her back a couple of times as well because uh, she's like indirectly annoying her and sometimes she means it and sometimes she doesn't. Like, okay, Misty, you are definitely now a part of the new main five or main six, but I think that will just probably offend the Gen 4ers. <laughs> I literally couldn't keep quiet during all the scenes inside the Dark Castle because I think they were just one of a kind and I couldn't pass up an opportunity to just let all my emotions just flush out of me. The amount of tension and drama just mixing together so well and when the main five got trapped inside that force field bubble, oh, that, that, was, that was really good as well and it was a bit heartbreaking to see them reject Misty because now they knew that Misty was all in on Opaline's plan all along. Uh, like, guys, I understand that that's kind of like a natural reaction to that kind of stuff happening to you because it's so relatable if if you know that a friend that you really love and trust is just betraying you so harshly, then of course you would be a bit hurt and just, no, you're, you're not my friend anymore, just turn away from them. And seeing Misty getting sad while knowing that she didn't really mean to trap them and take Sparky away, but she was all trying to do it for Opaline's benefit, but I suppose it didn't work work out well because yeah they all just rejected her and uh, I nearly shed a tear for Misty but to be honest. Also with Opaline finally confronting Sunny and the rest of the ponies that was a moment I craved and I took it Oh, wow. Oh, God, that made me shiver with so much pleasure and just terror because oh, I didn't know what was going to happen. The duel that Sunny had with Opaline at the end and with them just flying all around the dark castle and with Opaline finally saying her full name. It was tremendous, splendid work there from the animators and the writer because, oh boy, I couldn't have imagined this finale going any other way because when, when like a villain and a hero are inside the villain's headquarters and battling out and just destroying the whole place, it's really like a trope that I love because it really brings the story full circle in a way. Izzy throwing rocks at Opaline, Misty throwing her potions at Opaline, and Hitch and Zip just rescuing Sparky from that bubble. Oh it, oh, it was just so adorable and it was funny nonetheless too. And then Misty finally got her cutie mark. Well done, girl. I am so proud of you. You wholly deserve it. And it's a butterfly. I guess it represents the kindness in her heart. Like with like with Fluttershy's cutie mark with three of them. She saved her friends from inevitable doom. And no matter if she has to stay on Opaline's side for now, the main five truly know that Misty is one of them now and not on the dark side. From Misty's figurine, I wonder if her new hairstyle will come out in the future chapters of Make Your Mark because it's gone from like purple to orange and it's no longer blue and green. I do love her new hairstyle. It represents like a new dawn, a sunrise because it's a new face and she's turned over a new leaf and she's got a new heart inside her and she knows what's rightfully good now. Until finally at the very last moments of the episode, Opaline has revealed that there are more dragons out in Equestria. That was a big surprise. And I kind of thought that there would be more dragons because, you know, Sparky can't be the only one. But now, truthfully knowing that it is confirmed that there are more dragons out there somewhere and Opaline is, like, going to awaken them. Like, awaken my beauties. It's time to strike. Opaline's coming for you. Is Opaline going to, like, 
team up with the dragons somewhat? And the other alicorns? Where the fuck are they? Where are they hiding? Like, I want to see a water alicorn because imagine the design work on that kind of pony. And also, where is Twilight and Celestia and Luna? And maybe Cadence and Flowey Heart? The future chapters of Make Your Mark has so much potential, you have no idea. And I am always immensely thrilled to see more coming soon. Missing the Mark, fantastic finale, brilliant storytelling, wonderful characterization, and just a wonderful wrap up to the whole of chapter four. I can probably say that chapter four is Okay, yes, it is better than chapter two. I was on like the verge or the fence of saying that maybe chapter two is better than chapter four, but rightfully knowing what happened in this finale, nope, chapter four, you are rightfully the best now. Where am I going to place missing the mark on my rankings list, huh? Hmm, I think you flopbots already know where I'm going to place it. You're certainly right, it is number one. And for the last time, here are my final chapter four episode rankings here. Gosh, what a magnificent wrap up for chapter four. I have really enjoyed watching this series and I cannot wait for chapter five and chapter six and the last special to come out soon enough in 2023. I really hope you Flopbuds have enjoyed watching me just freak out so much more than, ever, than I ever did in my previous reactions. So now you see how much I can be emotional during these reactions when I'm really immersed in the story. I truly appreciate all of you just sticking around with me for these reactions because it means so much to me and with all of you just attending these premieres and watching any other kind of video that I may put out, it really means the world to me. And just seeing you Fluffbots being there by my side and loving me and just encouraging me in my work, I, I can't do anything else than give you all of my gratitude. So thank you Fluffbots so much, truly. Missing the mark, just, oh my God. Just good, 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 good. Fantastic, brilliant, and is a season review going to come out in the future? Uh, who God knows, but yeah, this finale, top-notch quality! So, Flopbots, don't forget to like and hoof tap this video and comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of Missing the Mark and subscribe to my channel to continue supporting me and my work and any other kind of video that I may put out. Also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you, Flopbots, very soon with whatever may come next. See ya! And before this video ends, I would like to shout out my Silver Fluffbutt Patrons, Mocha Fizz, Louise Wade and Alex Smith, and my Gold Fluffbutt Patrons, Darth Sila 12 and the Pate and Growerful Trisky. I appreciate all your love and support.